Altrincham have gone down by uh, two goals to nil against Curzon Ashton. This afternoon we're talking to manager <coughs> Phil Parkinson. Phil, uh, it's another disappointing result at home. Um, I don't think we can have too many complaints about the outcome of today's game. No, absolutely not. I'm not here to make excuses. Uh, we, were, we were inconsistent with regards how well we played last week and I've just uh, spoken to the players in the changing room we must take advantage of when we're playing well. We must take advantage of when we're on top in games. Because if we don't, there's always going to be a game where we've got players missing, where we're not quite as good as we were the previous game because we have taken a step up and lads are adapting. Um, so it's it's bitterly disappointing to, again, to have played so well away from home and then come home and put in a below-par performance in comparison to what I know the players can do. I'm sure the home fans who haven't been away must think that I'm uh, talking absolute nonsense at the moment because they haven't uh, seen it yet. And you kind of get that feeling. I, fe I felt if we would have won Saturday, we would have gone on a little bit of a roll. But again, when you have so many lads missing, it, it just sort of uh, stops you in your tracks a little bit. But I don't want, really want to go on too much about um, players missing because for me, the lads I put on that pitch today, I had every confidence that they should have gone and got a result today. But it's, uh, when you've got uh, the likes of uh, you know Andy White, Connor Hampson, uh, Ben Harrison, James Poole all injured and uh, or, or ill, and of course Jordan Hume suspended, you know that, that that's going to hurt any team. Yeah, absolutely. And like I said, I'm not going to harp on about it because people say I'm just making excuses. Um, but it is going to hurt us particularly. Um, we haven't got we haven't got a massive squad. We're not full time, so little things like that do do hinder you. But I, I still I'm watching the game and. I didn't think we played poorly, but we didn't do enough to win. We looked toothless in attack. We haven't kept a clean sheet, which is something that we've got to do. I mean, some of the goals I've seen here this season from the opponents, such as the FC United goal, the Geisley goal, and again, their second goal today, are absolutely out of this world. And you're just sort of thinking teams can't keep doing that. But in the same breath, we've got to do better defensively. And I don't just mean the back four or five with a keeper. I mean, from the front, I'm looking at how hard teams are working in the front ranks and we've got to do a little bit better there. It's something that we're identifying as a team and we're going to certainly work on that. But I can't reiterate the point. We've been just so inconsistent because... Sorry, I've got to reiterate the point. We've been so inconsistent because one week we're fantastic and we were. We were absolutely fantastic away at Blythe and we didn't deserve that, that loss. And then this week, we were average at best and we're not winning games when we're average. Um, I don't think I can remember us playing poorly and winning or playing average and winning and that's that's an art we've got we've got to master, particularly at this level. I mean, you look at Curzon's team and they've got lads who've played at this level for probably about three seasons now, so they know how hard you've got to work to earn the right to play. And I think you've got two teams there who try and play the right way, but I think what you, what we found today was obviously the lads we've got missing hurt us, but fundamentally they worked harder out of possession than we did and it's something we're, we're looking to address. Yeah, to give credit to, to Curzon, uh, they're a decent uh, side and they've got uh, 10 points of their 11 away from home. And, and you could see why? Yeah, absolutely. And you talk a little bit about luck as well. You look, we, you, you look at Curzon's team and what they put out today, it's far stronger than what they had out the previous week with regards to the lads they've got coming back, such as Cummins up top. He gives them a completely different dimension. And then you look at what we've lost and them, them things aren't quite going for us today and it just sounds like excuses but I, I know it will turn and it, it's got to turn quickly because like I said we don't want to be continuing like this but it is still very early days and, and we, we are showing what, that we can compete and, and do very well at this level but we've got to punish teams. When, when the, that is the main thing I'm taking from this league so far. When we're, do, when we're playing well we must win games and we must score. We need too many chances to score a goal. That's something else we've got to address. So it's something we know where we are. We know what we've got to do. There's nobody pressing the panic but button whatsoever in the change room. We've had a real adult conversation in there with the players. They've, they, it's the first time that I can remember where we've had a real to and throw with them where we've allowed them to sort of express how they feel. And it's exactly the same from what we're saying. So we're on the same page and we've just got to turn it and, uh, and get back on the right track. And like I said, when we've got everybody back, we're more than a match for anyone in this league, um, but we've got to get everybody back match fit uh, and, and getting results, particularly at home as well. I'm not; it doesn't sit well with me the fact that we we haven't won at home yet, and I'm sure, as it wouldn't any manager. But um, it's something we're looking to address very quickly, and hopefully, if we can get everybody back fit, um, we, we won't be too far away with that. 
Oddly enough, we haven't got another home league game for five weeks. Now, there might be one or two FA Cup home games in the meantime, and that would be an opportunity to uh, break our duck. But um, the, the games don't come thick and fast at this time of the year, so uh, you, know, you do have to wait patiently uh, to put things right. You do, absolutely, and that's the hard thing at this level. It's been good to a point where you can work with players, but when players are injured, you can't work with them as well. So... That's a bit of a negative. Uh, we've not been able to get that game in on the Tuesday. Sometimes you just want to bounce back straight away. But as you said, we're having to wait a week now where we'll be licking our wounds and, and working really hard. I mean, I can't question the players' application endeavour, the way that they train, the ethic, the togetherness. And that's why I'm quietly confident that it, it will be sooner rather than later that we turn the corner. But we've just got to stick together right now. And I know it'll be easy for people to absolutely... Uh, take us to the clean as we're not winning again at home but I just ask people to, to remain behind us um, and if they do that um, then we'll certainly give them the, re the rewards that they're due. I thought one positive from today's game was the performance of uh, young Elliot Twin. He's made some decent saves. He's looked confident in the air. I thought his distribution was excellent and really unfortunate with that first goal. It would have been a wonderful save if he'd kept it out. He's made one decent save and the second one he was very unfortunate with. Yeah, it's very frustrating um, because Elliot's not done anything wrong and he's conceded two goals. And as I said, the second goal is an absolutely unbelievable goal. And the one at Geisy where the centre half sits in the bottom corner is an unbelievable goal. FC United where the centre forward scored an unbelievable goal. We're not getting any of that at the moment. And we, we are more than capable of scoring those types of goals. And they change games and it gives you a massive lift. And I think we just need to do that when we're on top. We need, we need somebody to sort of grab the game by the scruff of the neck and go, it's going to be me today, I'm going to make it happen. And I know they will. Um, it's just frustrating that it's taken a bit longer than we, than what we would hope. We travel to Bradford Park Avenue uh, next week. They've had a very good start to, to the season, but the way we are playing away from home, and we're putting four really good performance, top quality performances. Uh, there's no reason why we can't make it number five uh, next Saturday. No, absolutely. Every everybody in that changing room is busting to, to to get out there, pull on the ulti shirt, and and get them wins. The, the, there's certainly no. Uh, Nobody's sitting back and accepting what's going on. And like I said, we, Saturday can't come quick enough now, but unfortunately it's seven days away and we're going to have to wait. The players are going to have to wait and take all that um, angst and anger out on Bradford. That's the thoughts of uh, Ultra manager Phil Parkinson following the 2-0 uh, defeat against Curzon Ashton at the J. Davidson Stadium this afternoon.